the number one. Number there two sounds too. In, I'm intelligent. Yeah, I, I agree. Number two just sounds too intelligent. So we'll go with number one. No, oh, she's on the. Didn't even ask me. Sam, like I'm too far away, baby. I don't know. You bastard! You had no right. No right to protect not only you from your own stupidity, but myself and the citizens of Sicily as well. You, we need protection from murderer. Unfortunately, the wizards of Rugal Gore make a revenge. Well, let's see if we can maybe save this thing. Totally. So, okay, for those of you watching this video, uh, I was going to stream this, and there goes the boat. Bye, boat. Yeah, I'll, yeah, you're I'll, gonna need. Yeah, I'll agree with that statement. Um, so I was gonna stream this because so far this has been a very hilarious game to play with my friend Gary. Um, but currently there's two major events going on: AGDQ 2015 and some kind of championship thing. So I gave up. I, I literally couldn't. My connection was abysmal. So I decided I'd go ahead and oh, oh, so I can't surpass a rope. I can't get by a rope. What do you think of this cloak? Come on, I've got an axe! Let me get by the rope! <laughs> Back up, you're hitting on the other side of the rope. You're attacking the dock, not the rope. But do me a favor, back away and save. Uh, new save. There. Alright, saved. What do you think of this cloak? Upper right? No, lower right. Uh, I like it. Oh my god, it's a fire-resistant rope. Look at this. <laughs> it's burning everything around it. Well, I tried. Hey, Chelsen, I, I'm, I'm on fire now. <laughs> what do you think of this one? <laughs> this one has the fur trimming on the edge of it. Which one? This one. Uh, I like that one better. This one? I like, much better. Okay. This one. Yes. I don't want to waste that scroll. <laughs> it's the same design, it's just... I don't have fire magic. Yeah. Anyways, so um, so far this game has been really funny to play. You gotta save really it enjoyable. The next time you're in combat with a bunch of things. <laughs> yeah, that's totally never happening again. Um, <laughs> Until five minutes from now. Yes. Uh, but this is Divinity Original Sin, which is an awesome, awesome game. If you've ever played any of the old good uh, top-down RPGs, Baldur's Gate, Fallout, etc., this is pretty much that with modern graphics. The dialogue is right up there, and lots of. Uh, Lots of options, lots of freedom. Uh, how much freedom? Well, I could like kill people. Break your axe on the ground. Right. I could, I could break my axe on the ground. Do I'm not it. gonna do it. No, do it. No. You just saved. Just do okay, it. Okay, fine. Hang on, I have to oh, demonstrate no, breaking my axe Sneak. on the ground. Just give it a minute. By the way, I can attack the ground in this game. You can attack basically anything. Go attack that barrel over there. Okay. I can attack this barrel. Go attack the rock. You're not attacking the rock. It, I don't think it's actually going to let me attack the rock. Rock. Yeah, see. I can attack the bench. There we go. Now I'm losing durability. There we go. Um, go attack a box. Now, they might take offense to this one. No, oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's another thing you can do in this game. You can throw stuff. Throw it. Yeah, it's too heavy for me. I need you to come to me. No, we're... we're push the button. So, I'm, I'm holding the button now. Gary, we're, we're breaking our axe and then reloading. Okay, so I can actually okay. hurt someone by throwing crates, which um, I just did. I didn't know hey, that. Hey, there's a water barrel right there. You probably could have picked that up to save the boat. Oh my god, she's right. Hang on, hang on. I have a brilliant plan. <laughs> this is the 
this is reload number like four, guys. Yeah, we've reloaded this load a lot. <laughs> Trying to save the same boat every time. We're going to save this goddamn boat, I swear. <laughs> That's okay, though. I actually have a plan. She pointed out something. There's actually a water barrel up here. Yeah, like not too far away. You just have to yeah, get the get the that. crate out of the way so you can pick it up. Yeah, you can like throw stuff like that. So. Come on. Gary! Okay, apparently I don't have enough strength to pick up the water barrel. You've got to be kidding me! Do you have more strength than me? Gary, how much strength do you have? I have five. I really doubt it. I'm pretty sure that's the base. How much strength do you have? I don't know. What's the character screen again? Oh, yeah. I. I? What a weird... I have nine strength and I can't pick up a barrel of water. Well, that thing in your defense probably weighs like a hundred and something pounds. Yeah! All right, whatever. Did you just break the water bell? Yes, I just broke the water bell. Whatever, okay. Continuing the quest. There's like no quest thing, so I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know exactly where to go. Apparently there is a quest thing. What do you think of yeah, this one? It. It's just really old school. Too which, light. I get it, it's just, yeah. <laughs> you having to use my brain to play a game is just not something I appreciate. I, I play games to be dumb, because that, that's why I'm role-playing as fighter, see? I don't like the boots as much now that I put the cloak on. I'm actually curious what happens if we disagree on this fish thing this time. Oh, good idea, good idea. What? Alright, I'm gonna dodge... No! No! Okay, there's some guards going by. I'm gonna dodge the fishing thing this time. <laughs> by sneaking? Yep. No! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Bastards! Uh, whatever. This is like the fourth time we've seen this thing. Alright. Take his fish. No. So I just gained a point in blunt and obedient. In blunt and obedient. That's the kind of game this is. I have more blunt skill now. Still no rain scroll. Still no rain scroll. Okay, so she like randomly reloads her image. Oh, oh, okay, there's a rain skill book. Gary, what? come get the rain skill book. Oh my god, it's 920 uh, gold. I do not have that much gold, yeah. I think. Sell her stuff at equal weight. Hang on, let's. let's... You should barter for it with your nothing that you were doing. <laughs> By the way, uh, well, no. By the way, guys, for those of you who don't know, I have been uh, intentionally. Now you can drop 200 gold on Not it. looting. Um. Role playing wise. Yeah, okay, so there's the 200 gold. Okay, so we're not even halfway there yet. I have some parchment. I love the thought of this. I've got some parchment, some seashells, a couple of hammers. Will you give Keep me that going. spell book? I, I'm not, I don't have anything else to give her. My bag, which I can't. My potions, which I'm not. My res scroll, which I'm not. My weapon, which I need to repair. And a book. Okay, here, I have the book. Yeah! We're screwed. Your author insults me! Gary! Gary! How do I... Eight. Whatever, I give up. Gary, get the water scroll! Gary's talking to the lady. Kill the chicken. You heard her, guys. She said to kill the chicken. You're hungry! I am very hungry. Okay, so I have to kill the chicken, apparently? Because I'm hungry. I can't catch the the chicken is faster than I am because I can't run in this game. Look at this. You're you're catching up to it. I you I need to get like ahead of it. There we, there we go. Oh no! Come back! I will eat you, chicken. Serpentine. You will be eaten. Now corner it. And corner it. I lost it. I lost the chicken. I lost the chicken. It's gone. Can you not change the camera angle? Oh, yeah, I can. Not that much, though. 
Ah, okay. There it is. Target is invisible. <laughs> I'm gonna get this chicken. Well, he, look at him! He just teleported through the rocks. Oh my god, this chicken. Got him! I got the chicken, Gary. Loot the chicken. I can't. There's nothing to loot. Oh, damn. Did you not dialogue with the guy, or what are you talking about? Oh, you might not be in the same thing I'm thinking of. <laughs> Anyways. So, I hear there's this main quest we could do. <laughs> Alright, what the hell does warm mean? Oh, I mean... Get your buffs. Yeah, but where, where... Okay, where... There, mind, I see it. Fire resistance down, water resistance up. Okay. That's funny. The face, Thaddeus! She bit me in the face! Look on the bright side. Everyone knows the ugly soldiers are the most ferocious. But we'll be the least yet. The beast looks rabid. What is it? They're calling a beast. It's a woman. Yeah, I don't know what she is, though. Just some barbarian chick. This woman in this cage under arrest. She's more wild than animal. She was aiming at a rat. Yeah. Uh, what would become of this stranger? What do you think, Jolson? <laughs> well, having cannon fodder serves my motivations, so... That, that's true. We have a new party member. Yay! Isla. Farewell, so Isla has joined the party. Okay, my character is way too well versed for the way I'm trying to play him. So, um, he's you now the Lich that. King. You really do. You're supposed to be the guiding force of the party. I am! I'm fighter! He's the hero of the game, right? Your choices are always good or evil. There is not a... <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, why not? <laughs> uh... There is no dialogue that says, I like swords. <laughs> what? Why not? Sword chucks. If there's any dialogue in the whole game that says sword chucks, yo, this is getting a 10 out of 10. What about these shoes? I might be, just as, as a character, I might be thinking. Now that I have the cloak yeah, on. Yeah, that works with the cloak, I think. Because this doesn't. Now you you said the, the black. mess with their head option. You were like, you better be careful about them humans. <laughs> they are pretty evil. I mean, there's this one chick named Charleston who was trying to kill these random guys who were trying to just put out a fire on a boat, and she just ran up and fireballed the whole lot of them. It was terrible. Yeah, I recruited her. I had to show her the error of her ways. I did. Be careful about other humans. Yeah, not me, though. I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay, fine. If I can't play fighter, who the hell can I play? Lefty. I, I can play Palpatine. <laughs> oh, Echo. Tell me about yourself. Just as his murder. I'll be right back over to get myself some food. Food. Okay. Food is good. Food is good. Sometimes. Food is bad. Food is bad. I agree with whatever you say. 
Food is bad. Shoes are horrible. That is true. <laughs> I give up. This is my hunter suit. Looks really cool. I can only hope some fresh ideas are coursing through that source-obsessed brain of yours, and they will take root before the undead scoop those same brains out of your shattered skulls. I'm not sure I like this guy. That's totally your weapon right there. It doesn't match, but this one does. The harpoon? Yeah. Blackrock Foundry Heroic, I love you, says. Next okay, expansion, no. we will totally do I that. could go with the mythic one. <laughs> okay. It matches better. Well, next next expansion, we might be able to pull it off. No, we might be able to pull it off next expansion. I look at and I'm just like, what the hell were they thinking? <laughs> I haven't been stuck here for two years because we're besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. Shut up, dude. It's guy. By the way, I apologize. Stupid. If anybody out there wonders, yes, this really is how fast I read. It's just normal for me. That's how he keeps up with chat. Mm hmm. You have to read slower so they can read it. Yeah, I don't need to believe. Read. Either that or you have to read it out loud. Uh, what kind of voice would that guy have? I don't think that. I think that's how he would sound like, personally. Damn it, I keep clicking this window. I don't even know what this window is. I'm going to talk. Well, I was going to say, I'm going to go talk to the cat. Uh, that's actually my quest giver. Tell me about yourself. Who or what are you? Oh, I'm a wizard. Uh, okay. I'm having certain fantasy life flashbacks where the wizard trainer is actually a cat. Not a person pretending to be a cat. A cat. But then again, you haven't experienced just how far certain boundaries are pushed back when you tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech, perhaps humanity's greatest asset, cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. It's handy to speak in more than meows, no question. Opposable thumbs? Oh, I couldn't brew potions or make machines without them. This I freely admit. But to be out in the night, to stalk on silent paws, and hunt with only the moon as your witness, you couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. You're a creepy cat. Yeah, I'm just waiting for him to bring up mating in cat form, because I know this game does that kind of humor. I love the cat's talk animations, by the way. God, my neck hurts. Holy crap. I keep kind of going back to this one. Which one? Why? Because it's simple. And it matches. It's very troll. It is troll. Yeah. This is a great town. This is such a classic D&D adventure setup right here. We go into this random town, which happens to be besieged at the same time by a mysterious murder, a orc army, well, small army, but army nonetheless, 
and an undead army, which also has cultists working with it. I mean, this is literally just classic D and D, not in a bad way. That's not that's not a complaint. Uh, it's rare that you see a D and D game like this in in video game format. That's about this one. <sighs> cool. I don't like that one personally, but it's your thing, and it doesn't match. Wait, wait, I've got to barter with the cat. What does he have to sell? Oh, a lot of stuff, actually. Expensive aged robe of fire resistance. Well, how much is he selling that for? That's that's cheaper than the rain book was. It's a desert town. It's on an ocean. It's got a dock with a ship that I was trying to... Why was... Ah! The ship was on the ocean, and I was trying to stop it from being on fire. Ships burn on the ocean. Ah, uh, I have a billion quests. I don't know what to do now. Okay, I'm done. Actually, let's take a look at belts. Yes, again. look at belts. Let's see if I can find one some some of that yellow in it. One thing I do both like and dislike about this game is it has that same feel that all those old RPGs did. Um, and I like it and dislike it for the exact same reason. There's no real quest log that's actually useful. There's no quest helper. There's no icons or arrows or go this way. It's just they tell you to go to a lighthouse That's in, and they give you directions to it. And that's it. And uh, if you forget your directions, you're screwed. Yeah. That, that See, that's why I don't like it, especially when I'm, I'm actually really out of it right now. Um, but I like that when I'm, this when I'm on my game because I like being able to go and explore and enjoy uh, on my own without actually having to be led around by the nose. That's an interesting contrast, but I wish they had something a little more amber no, to match the for. feathers. <sighs> having a lack of quest thingy also basically, uh, by default, artificially encourages player exploration. Because the player is more inclined, in real life terms, to just roam and see what's out there if they don't have something guiding them. But by the same token, it could also be said that a player who has no direction is going to be overwhelmed by the freedom of choice. I've talked about this before when it comes to Morrowind as a big example of that. You open into Morrowind, and the game says, okay, you could go this way, and here's the entire rest of the entire world. You know, it, it's too much for some people, and I understand that. So it's it's a positive and a negative. The combat, which I'm hopeful to show off soon, is really nice, too. It's straight out of Fallout, in a good way. The whole... well, it's not VATS, but it is VATS. Basically, action point system. Certain actions take a certain amount of points, you get certain points per turn. However, um, I don't even remember if this was in Fallout 1 or 2, to be totally blunt, but it also has storing of points, just like Bravely Default does. Here's another example of that, which is an awesome, awesome thing, and opens up a wealth of tactical options, which is why I like that. Like, if I start a round with... <laughs> if I start a round with 5 AP, and I have uh, an attack that takes 4 AP, I can chill for a minute and have 10 AP, which gives me 2 to move, and then I can get 2 attacks in on my next round. Or I can just move in this round and then save it and then attack next round. You know, it gives you options, and that's always good. Okay. Where can I go to get to combat quickest? <laughs> you should come over here. Go in the tavern. That's a beautiful place to get in combat. <laughs> I agree. Sis just said that's a beautiful place to get in combat. And you are? I take it you weren't pushing the button down before he said that. No, sorry. Yep, I think I'm good for now. Save. Hunter. Yes. Hunter set. Done! Some could not because they are professionals, not adventuring <laughs> daydreamers. <Wait>. Modules. <laughs> off. Start with you Helm. making Shadows suit now? Yeah. You should make it based off of that. <laughs> based off of what? This? The middle bottom. This. No, I don't want to fell a look. <laughs> Although I can't like Okay, hang on. 
character establishing moment. Do I care? Does this character care about riches? Are you ready to do pyramid scheme? <laughs> I was going to say, I think this guy sounds a lot like Amway, which I know some of my viewers don't even know what that is because of how old that is, but yeah. <laughs> There you go, that's a modern one. I can't decide if this... I, I can't play fighter, which sucks. I really want to play fighter. So I need to play either someone who's, like, super evil they or really cool super cloth, good. Cloth and I can't decide. <laughs> I think I'll play super good, because you're playing Chalson, and that'll be funnier. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. Okay, so... Well, the question is, like... <laughs> Are you going to have an unbending moral sense? Because, like I do, I, I'm willing to. Eh, this isn't worth it to me. I think he'll develop. Push the button. Oh, push the button. I think his character will develop one. I love the dialogue in this game so much. Even so, my friend, matters of pecuniary nature aside, what is life without variety? Without spice, without... And just... The guy earlier who was ranting about the undead and all that stuff, he was hilarious to listen to. Or rather, to read. <laughs> that's really a no-brainer for my character. Yeah, that's an easy one. I love this guy's animations each time he talks. I actually picture him going, ah! each time he starts a new sentence. Well, what do you think? You want to join this uh, random quest for Kai? <laughs> well, now here's what I know about this. My characters were skeptical of the pyramid scheme and said no, and you don't get the option to join them ever again. Alright, let's go ahead and do it just for and that reason. there's some side quests there. Yes, and then she wakes up. <laughs> okay. Sweet. All I have to do is kill a freaking steel golem. And then I could get money. That just, that just sounds easy. Yep. It's that easy. I'd just like to point out that there's red curtains all over the place. Wait, where is she? There she is. Talk to Medora. Uh. There she comes. Oh, I see her. What do you mean by the enemy? <laughs> wow, 
why my own mother went blind as a mole one day and tried to blame the whole affair on cataracts. She even got the local healer, healer through bribery or corrosion, to vote for her little tale. Oh, it broke my heart to arrest her for sorcery, but no friend to the censorer is any kid of mine. Apparently I'm building a purple suit. Um. Would you like a raving lunatic to join the party? <laughs> yes! I want a raving lunatic to join my party! Fantastic! It's more fodder. Okay, before I accept this, I do have a real question. Um, is there more than the four party members? Like, is, is there other people we could recruit other than Barbarian Chick well, okay. and Crazy Chick? In a bit, we will unlock a thing uh, akin to End of Time at CT. Okay, that's that's all I want to know. You know, the funny thing is, number two is very much, I think, what Charleston would say here. Except she'd say it more like, this woman's crazy. Can we go? <laughs> this doesn't seem worth my time. Yeah, I'm tempted to say that, but she's far too amusing to say that. <laughs> this one time I'll break character. Only because I know that it provides the, uh, the cannon fodder. You know, it's, it's, it's sort of in character, cannon fodder. No, I know. I like that. I don't need to be looking at wrists. I need to be looking at gloves. Wow. Wands. Okay. Uh, right. Let's go kill stuff. Onwards. Let's go kill a Are steel doll. Uh, I am recording. Okay. Why? I was just going to get in the stream so you have to press the buttons to talk or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And I would just contribute as I felt necessary. <laughs> I smell the fierce stench scent of a goblin sauce! No, that's a roast pig. Ah, yes. This time. Okay, help me out here. Give me some direction. We're at the marketplace. How do I go kill stuff? Okay. <laughs> Uh, we... Oh, you want to just go and kill stuff? Well, no, actually, I'm, I was hoping to go to the lighthouse. That's the one that caught my eye first. I'm trying to figure out where that is. Can you pay attention yeah, to the directions? Those are a little hard, harder to get. Okay, so... There's a little uh, bit of grind necessary before we can start doing those kind of things. Okay, well, in that case, where do we go? It's raining! We did it! All we had to do... Well, it's not raining down here. But it's raining up here! <laughs> we need to move the boat into the hills. What we need to do is we could go west, uh, or northwest, or whatever, out of town, and there are some fights that, that can be had out there. All right, to let's do it. Combat. Uh, when do you have to go to work? I don't work tonight. Not you. Oh. Vagus? I've only been the, on this schedule. Uh, 4 p.m. your time? Okay. We'll probably be gone by then. But that was the reason for asking. I wanted to figure out whose deadline we were working off of. I'm probably going to fall asleep soon. Yeah, I'm going to eat lunch here so that uh, I can just skip my lunch and work five hours and go home. Beyond these walls. They let you do that? And of course, we can stop anytime you need to. Whoa, uh, okay. Uh, it looks like I'm controlling Barbarian Chick, it seems. I don't even see what she has here. She has no yeah, equipment. Yeah, if you look over on the... On the side, you've got a chain. You can drag them around and rechain them to me as a different party member, or chain them chain, to uh, uh, like unchain them. You drag them to the right so that they're on their own. They're not following as the party. All right, I am incredibly I blind. I cannot be chained to you because I am in control of me. Yeah, I'm totally blind. I don't see the chain. If you look on the right where our character portraits are, they're they're all three chained. But they're, the two of them yeah. are chained to you. See. And then I am not chained. Oh, on the left, right. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Fine. 
I'm looking over here like, I don't see anything. What am I not, what am I missing over here? Got it, okay. Like, you could drag one of them and chain them to me, and then I'd be in control of them. Yeah, I get you. So this is combat, guys. Like I said, very Fallout-y, very Baldur's uh, Gate-y, turn-based stuff. Does Medora have a two-hander? Uh, hang on. It's not letting me check her inventory. It's not even letting me check my inventory. It's froze up again. Give it a second. I think it's because it's Gary's turn. Gary, it's your turn. Go. He's going. He's going. Okay, here we go. Medora has does in fact have a two-hander. Yeah. In fact, she has full gear, which is funny because Barbarian chick has literally nothing. Uh, you forgot to pick up Barbarian chick's gear. <laughs> she. <laughs> By you and me, not. Whoops. Crap, I'm wet. Excuse what does me. that mean? Uh, wet this means over here to take the more fire resistance, less air resistance. Are these guys shooting air? Whoa! The town guard, who are out the of the storm, are, are like, we got this, guys! They it's really so are. It's sunny. Yeah, and then it's raining, like... Five feet where. Although that's appropriate given where I'm from. Targets. We need the exps. I think we get full X by the way, just for being in the encounter. You just not gonna do anything with her? What? She, <laughs> she has no gear. <laughs> Can you go yeah, push the button? Are you pushing the button? Yeah, okay. Button pushed. Can you go back into town and get the gear? Yeah. Okay, good. I should assume so. I hope so. If someone else came by and stole it, that would actually amuse me a lot. Okay. Uh, what do we got for abilities here? Whirlwind. Attack, power attack. Charge. Stun. And hep. Okay, so let's do it. No, don't. Okay, so. <laughs> targeting suck ball. Yeah, uh, I was just about to tell that to the recording. So, I do have one other complaint about this game. Uh, that's the targeting. As you just saw, I went to click on that guy, and it's like, oh, you meant the space right behind him, right? That's actually happened a lot. Um, earlier, we were doing this thing where I was on a ranged character, and I'm at range to a boss, and I'm like, okay, I want to attack the guy up there. So I click on him, and then spend my entire turn walking up into melee range of the boss as a ranged, squishy character. It's Charlie's Whip Fighter all over again. <laughs> oh, God, that was nuts. Those poor enemies... This is actually kind of funny to watch. <laughs> she really is, Isla. <laughs> well, now she's doing it with the with the staff. Oh, there we go. Okay, he got up. Smush. Uh, who's left? Oh, never mind. What's behind you? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna get more of this goop all over the ground. Yes, yeah, it's like, just keep walking through it, buddy. It's cool. <laughs> you got my heels, right, man? <laughs> ah! Dude! Not cool! Did he just attack you? <laughs> Ah, dude! <laughs> He's sending fireballs into my face. Well, he didn't burn me. 
aren't you. I like how so far Isla there seems to have done the most damage in general. Is that the barbarian? <laughs> yeah. No, I, that's I, funny. I don't know her actual name. I'm just calling her that because Chrono Trigger. Okay. See, I better kill him. Another good example of this type of combat would probably be XCOM for more modern gamers. Hey, you have a heal button. Yeah, heals out of combat. Things have cooldowns because um, you see this is all active now. Now that we're out of combat, so that's how they keep track of that sort of thing. Uh, she should have a heal too, or she already use it. No, that's not it. Whatever. All right, I'm gonna go find her gear real quick. And I can't seem to chain her to you, by the way. Like, I mouse over her, it goes under you, the chain dangles, and then nothing happens. Well, try to reattach her to you. See? Not sure what's up with that. Uh, where was that? Where was she being held? It was over here somewhere. Somewhere in this vicinity. Right here-ish. This also reminds me of Baldur's Gate. Finding yeah, no, where I'm going, to, to and then... My chaining earlier. Oh, there we go. Maybe? Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's just not doing it, and I don't know why. Apparently, like, I can't chain to anybody. No one wants to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are Charleston. Target group is far, too far away. Let me see if I can Oh, hang on, hang on. I have yeah. a thought. I have a thought. Hey, Gary. What? Hang on. There. I push think the, I did it. Push the button. I did it. I did it. I got it working. No, you didn't. No, I did. Because now Gary should be able to chain her to her. Because I assigned her to him. To him. Okay, well, whatever. Push the button. Okay. So, Gary, the, uh, the reason that nobody wants to be your friend is because they all overheard you saying they were cannon fodder. Yeah. <laughs> I said that, like, out of character, so it's cool. Yeah, he, he was holding up the, the fingers for that. Where the hell is her gear? Oh, wait, I, I haven't loaded it yet because I'm not here yet. That's why I don't see it. Anyways, yeah, um, if I go to the menu, there's actually a thing called assign characters when I could say, okay, Parsayeska here gets, you know, whoever. So How you get. How do you say uh, his name? Par what? It's his screen name. Parsayeska? Okay. Yeah. It's... This is Charleston, though. I've never bothered to try to say it out loud. Mm. Okay. Now back to the top. Um. Although I didn't actually mean to give you. No, yeah, I meant to give you Barbarian Woman because she's ranged, from what I understand. So I'm. St yeah, am I is. still traveling across the town? I think I am. I am. I'm still coming over here. This is ridiculous. This really is Baldur's Gate. Yes. What I just heard him say is, get to Shinyville! That's there's her bow, and there's her dagger. I see it. Wow, no wonder I missed that. So yeah, you see that down there, guys? That's the gear I missed. <laughs> I, oh, I have 200 gold. I don't know if that's enough to actually get her some armor. Uh -oh. uh, she has armor. There's some arrows over here, too. I guess I can loot them and then give them to you. This is a kind of a cool feature. I don't know how to use this exactly. Let's see. So I do this, and then I, directly to her. And yeah, that's that's a cool thing. I can literally just be like. Yeah, I do actually rather like the inventory management of this game. The fact that we can just toss back and forth like that is really neat. Okay, to the. Oh, there's actually an archery dude, a food dude, a person who doesn't have a rain scroll. 
And a fish dude. I don't see a smithy. Now there is one thing this game does have both, both over and worse than Baldur's Gate. <clears throat> you must gather your party before venturing forth. Um, that isn't the thing because you can split up. You don't drag them if you zone. So it's nice, but at the same time it's easy to get split up if you're not coordinating with a real other player. The uh, barracks or whatever down the hill is probably as close as you're going to get to what you're thinking about. Uh... Oh. And also this building over here. What? Oh, over here. I see it. What a strong and handsome officer you are, Kaya Sentinels. You must have thought many of that. How can I help you? Wait, wait. Yeah, this place over here. Wait for me. Okay, I'm in. That's the other thing that's kind of cool. If he starts a convo, I can join it. Um, and in fact, actually be a part of it. In fact, if I, if I get close enough here, let me talk to Esmeralda. You should talk to her. That's the husband or the wife or whatever of the victim. Let's discuss your husband's murder. Stealing everything. So I spent like an hour and a half trying to find a, a good person way to do that quest, <laughs> and then I finally researched it online. And every answer points to you have to steal the key. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. In order to pro progress the quest, at some point you will have to steal the key. So do I need to distract the guard you also or have her? Have to steal the quest items. No, I just stole it. It's totally cool. There's no guards upstairs. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's just like, whatever, no big deal. What we jeans? Man-eating zombie crabs. Crab people. Crab people. Tastes like zombie. Looks like people. Okay. Um, right. I was actually going to buy from her. There was, there was another reason I was coming here. Anyways, I came in here and I found a book in her kitchen about perfect murder. Really? Subtle. Now I'm going to go into her basement. Okay, I can buy a dirty robe. A dirty robe off of her for 400 gold. Whatever, she doesn't sell armor worth a damn. Let's just sell all this stuff. Screw it. Oh, I can double click. Oh, that's nice. Double click, double click. Oh, crap. So I went to sell, so I dumped all the items over and I hit yes, and without thinking about it, I hit the yes button. Apparently I just gave her all my crap that I was going to sell. Until we meet again. There you go. How altruistic of you. I, I'm, I'm a good guy. 
apparently, and I got attitude with her for that, like plus 12, plus 20 actually, excuse me. I just found a bloody dagger in her basement. I'm, she and I are getting along really well, and I'm totally ignorant of whatever Charleston's doing down there. I'm just like, yeah, everything's great. Sweet. I just found a chest with some My friend stuff in it. Good stuff. Identify these things. Here, Magus, this looks like you could use it. I'm sorry, this is hilarious. I asked her about the book that you, you got. You stand there in front of her and I just like teleported some of her stolen equipment to you. Yeah. Um, so I asked her about the book you found. Oh, that horrid tome of ill repute. It wasn't mine, it was Jake's. He was a politician, you see. Until we meet again. So what did you just teleport to me? Is that a one-hander or a two-hander? Ah, one-handed. Nah, that's not too good. Two-hander, though. That's awesome. Why don't you stop roaming back there, you My twit? My friend returns. Until we meet again. Ah, okay. Camera. My friend returns. By the way, you can adjust the camera. Okay, so let's try and actually sell stuff this time. And by which I mean sell her stuff to her. Let's see what she... And so I demand your gold of this amount. Eight fifty-eight. Sell her these these wonderful paintings I found. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she have a painting they of zombies? They were just lying around. I swear. Well, I just made a thousand gold off of her stuff. Until we meet again. She's broke now. Let's see what else I can find out here. I, I can't sell anything else to her. She got taken all she has. You know what, actually, this is the first time I think that I'm playing a character where this is my actual motivation. Fuck these people. <laughs> sell them their own shit. Wow, dude. What the hell, man? Of course, I'm, I'm not like a thief thief, so... I'm just blatantly breaking it and dropping them. Well, I'm digging and there's nothing here. Alright, let's put away my weapon. There we go. Okay, so I got a shovel, guys. The, I am the shovel knight. And I'm gonna go out here in the middle of the town here. And just start digging in the middle of town. Well, that digging and there's nothing here. Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this because yeah. 